y equal to mx plus c equation there. Yeah? So that you can find the degree of membership. So if there are multiple parts of the antecedent, you have to apply fuzzy logic operator and resolve the antecedent to a single number between 0 and 1. And it is the result being the degree support of, uh, of support of the rule. So you have to use O O N. Logic operator if you have multiple part. Okay. So you need to apply the implication method using the degree of support uh, for the entire rule to shape the output fuzzy set. Okay. So if the rule has more than one antecedent, fuzzy operator is applied to obtain one number that represents the result of applying the rule. So the degree of support here, we are going to learn it in the next chapter that is on um, defuzzification later on. Yeah. Okay. So next is on the rule evaluation. So consider if you have fuzzy rule with multiple antecedent there. Uh, previously, we have seen... Uh, uh, various example of fuzzy rule with multiple antecedent. So the operator N or O is used to obtain a single number that represent the result of the antecedent evaluation. So we are not going to consider, um, for example, here we have um, two uh, antecedent, right? This, in, this one and this one. So say we have the degree of membership here as 0 0.7, this one as 0 0.9. Okay. So we are going to use the logic operator of N or O based on this one to get a single value of the antecedent value so that we can uh, input them or we can fit them to get the output. So uh, rule evaluation uh, can be uh, will be discussed in the next subject as well. Okay, it's just that uh, I'm going to introduce this to you so that you are not going to uh, be um, macam terkejut lah untuk next uh, chapter. Okay, so if you have for example um, n here. Okay, if you have uh, O dulu, okay, kita tengok, if you take a look at O fuzzy operation, okay, so for example, kita ada, we have a rule antecedent, okay, so we have to evaluate the disjunction of the rule antecedent, we use the O operator. So, um, typically, fuzzy expert system will use the classical fuzzy uh, operation union, okay, so uh, O can be union. Um, N will be uh, intersection. So, if you have two antecedent, okay, antecedent 1 and antecedent 2 with O statement here, okay, O logic. So, what you are going to uh, select or getting the single number of the antecedent evaluation is best based on the max value. So, for example here, the first um, antecedent giving will, will giving you a value of 0 0.8 and the second antecedent will going to give you 0 0.6 value. So if we have the OR statement here, so we are going to get the uh, maximum value based on these two antecedent. So we are going to have A1 because this is maximum. So we are going to discard the value of A2. Similarly, in order to evaluate the conjunction of rule antecedent, okay, rule antecedent, okay, N, so we have N, conjunction is N, we apply the N fuzzy set, N fuzzy operation intersection. So, if we have A1 and A2 with 0 0.8 and 0 0.6 value as well, which value we are going to take. So we are going to take A2 because this is the minimum value. So next is on the application of fuzzy rule. You may take a look at various application of fuzzy rule. For example, we have common modeling okay, by fuzzy logic, grading a cotton by color measurement, um, preliminary simulation of intelligent force control, 
Fuzzy logic control and support autonomous navigation of humanitary demining robots. And this is quite popular one, water quality indices based on fuzzy logic and other methods in artificial intelligence. So if we take a look at these papers, you are going to see how the fuzzy rules being constructed. So um, if you think uh, there are some part that is not clear, okay, uh, I will discuss them in the next uh, chapter be um, because this is the chapter of me introducing you to construct the rule first. Uh, in order for us to evaluate or interpret the fuzzy rules, we are going to, to do that in the fuzzy inference because we need step-by-step -step process from there. Okay, So that's it. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the WhatsApp. So thank you everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum.